Hi everyone and welcome to 2022. I hope you all had a fun and safe celebration. I know I did. So what this video is about. What you guys can expect this year. But first I do want to talk a little bit about last year and what that year was like for me. So the start of 2021 I was still recovering from COVID-19. It's a very dark and very, very not so great time for me on many different levels. Though during my recovery, I want to commit to something. I want to do something that was entirely out of my comfort zone and something that I actually thought that was going to be out of my capability. I want to challenge myself and post one video every single week for a year. And I did it, of course. It was very hard, very, very, very hard to do. So let me explain a little bit. I'm a retail worker and I work about 40 hours a week. During 2021, there was a point where I was doing 50 to even 60 hours a week. On top of that, I'm in a relationship. The reason why I was doing 50 to 60 hours a week was because my kitten was actually very sick. So paying for her medical bills and she's still not doing too well, but it is what it is. That year was very taxing in terms of time. My days off weren't really like days off. In fact, my days off, I was always working on a video or editing a video or preparing for one, like practicing for one. And it took a lot of time away from my significant other. On top of that, my job took away a lot from my significant other. And my friends too, like I never really got to hang out with friends. I mean, during COVID, I, we can't anyways, but we want to hang out virtually or, or do something together from a distance. And we couldn't because I was always busy. I never had time even for myself. It was a very, very difficult year. And I can't do it again. Don't get me wrong, I'm not quitting YouTube. I I'm not, I'm not. I, I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm quitting or anything. I am, however, going to take it down a few notches. So let's talk about this year and what you guys can expect. So you guys can expect a few less covers because they take the longest for me to do and actually a few more reaction videos and reviews and even show and tell possibly. But first, let's start with the covers. I do want to post covers that are more challenging. I do want to challenge myself as a bass player. Though it takes more time for me to practice something if it's very challenging. I can't really pick something up and get it down within a day and record it. Uh, it takes me a little more time than that, if I'm being honest. Though I do want to do covers that are very easy to play as well. You know, something that I just like to play. It doesn't have to be hard. After all, it is music, it's not a sport, it doesn't have to be hard. Reaction videos. Okay, there's two reasons why I want to do reaction videos. The first reason is actually because it's a lot easier for me to do them. It takes a lot less time than to do a cover for me. So that's one reason. Reason number two. Okay, here it comes. I want to get over my anxiety of talking in front of the camera. There. That's why, okay? I, I'm sorry guys, I hate talking in front of the camera. I don't like it. It's scary. There's a reason. There's a reason why I don't show the other half of my face. I am shy. I'm sorry guys. A lot of people are like, oh, it's because of this and because of that and because of... No, 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 no. I am shy. That's it. That's all. Very simple. I'm shy. So to talk in front of the camera, lots and lots of anxiety. I may look to you even though you can only see half of me 
but inside I am screaming Bloody Mary. Last year, 2021, I wanted to do something that was very, very much out of my comfort zone and that was talking in front of the camera. And at first I completely chickened out. I, I couldn't do it and that's why I actually did a voiceover instead of talking in front of the camera. That was um, my very first video of how to paint your bass guitar series. So that's why I did a voiceover and I didn't do this because I was too scared. I was just too scared. Also, I'm not a very good editor. I always feel like my voice sounds different in other videos. I, I don't know, but I'm just... Anyways, moving on. Reviews. I really want to do some reviews. I have a lot of instruments behind me, so I thought it'd be fun to go over each instrument and tell maybe a little story about them and how I got them. Now, the next couple of things are all possibilities. They're not guaranteed for this year, okay? First of all, I want to release some music. Now, it's not guaranteed. I'm really not sure if I can release it this year. However, I want to work on it this year. And the only way I can really work on it is if I take some time off of YouTube. Once again, not quitting, just not doing as much. Bass lessons. I may or may not teach some entry-level bass guitar lessons. Maybe, maybe not. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm not sure if I'll do it on Patreon or just on Zoom. I'm not really sure, but that's a possibility for this year. Last but not least, art commissions. This year, during around spring or so, I will be open to do some art commissions. So if you want your guitar or your bass guitar to be painted on by yours truly, feel free to DM me on my Instagram. Instagram is where I usually answer all of my messages. I don't really answer messages anywhere else. If you guys are interested, please hit the link down below in the description. That's pretty much it, what you guys can expect for this year. Once again, some of those things are not guaranteed. It's a work in progress. And I hope you guys can understand. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you've come this far into the video, it means so, so much to me that you guys have seen this much because that means you guys actually care about what I want to say and seeing that this video is not a cover or a reaction video or anything else, it's just me talking. So thank you, thank you so much and until next time, I love you all.